This is Nellie's Farm, episode 5, I believe. I want to give you a quick update of my garden. Um, I haven't really spent a lot of time out here. It's been raining non-stop here in northeast Alabama. And there goes Pepper making her appearance. And uh, for about a month non-stop. And this is the first day I've even been able really to get out here and do anything. So I, uh, we, we... We uh, mowed and got some weeds under control. I still have some empty beds, as you can see, that I didn't even use this year. What are you eating, Pepper? Are you eating something, huh? What did you find? Did you find something? But uh, I don't have a whole lot this year. Um, some things just haven't taken off. Like last year, I had tons of green beans and things and um, cucumbers. I don't even have anything yet. Well, my cucumbers right here is my cucumber bed. They have flowers on them, as you can see. They're getting there. These are rainbow carrots. They're supposed to be uh, different, different, uh, different um, colors of carrots. This is my one of my garden uh, beds of beans, and as you can see, it fizzled out. And I did. Um, I think it's all the rain, maybe. I don't know. And I I got them in too late in the year. And this is my other beans. And see. Well, one of my others. Something ate the tops off of them, too. As you can see. You can see the bald tops? See all those? Something ate uh, the tops off. And that didn't help. But, like, this is a potato. Here's another potato. They, uh, I've got potatoes all over kind of growing. And that's what's in these tires, too. And all along here, those are potatoes. And, uh... The potatoes grow so easy, I can't believe it. If one happens to fall on the ground, they'll just grow right where they are. And I didn't know that until, the, um, like, the last few years. It's pretty cool. Anyway, my apple tree sure is doing good. This apple tree was knee-high when I moved here. And I've been here five years, and now look at it. And there is Mindy Kitty. She's sitting on the compost bin. Oh, she's a pretty kitty. Yes, she is. She is one of the sweetest cats I've ever had. And uh, I think she's watching for critters that might come to the compost bin to get some goodies. Oh, she wants to be petted. Oh, Mindy. She's such a sweet, sweet girl. Anyway, I think I put these two close together. This is a zucchini. I do have blooms on them, as you can see. Now, I was thinking about picking a few, but I'm not really sure. I just can't get myself to pick them, you know. If anybody has any suggestions about any of this, I'm still a new gardener myself, and I would love to hear any suggestions. Um, my Brussels sprouts, something ate those two, as you can see, but they're starting to grow back now, as you can see. I don't know if those are bugs or rabbits. We have tons of rabbits here. I mean, a ton of them. So, and then I've got all kinds of stuff over here. Zucchini, um, tomato plants. I have four different types of tomatoes, better boys, um, big boys, I believe, cherry tomatoes, and romas. Romas are my favorite. And I got zinnias that are just about to bloom, and I'm real happy about that. And, uh, let's see what else. Over here, I didn't weed this other one yet, over here. But, uh, yeah, last year I had a lot more. But um, it was hard to keep up. I was working a lot more last year. So, and I'm going to be returning to work soon. So, I don't know how that's going to work. But it's not really big where I can't manage it with a job. But the, only, the main obstacle, of course, is my fibromyalgia. As people that have it know. These three are cantaloupe plants. I started them from seed and I transplanted them. And uh, more tomatoes and more beans that are not doing well. I guess I'm just not going to get the beans this year, but it kind of sucks. But at least I have a lot of blooms on my zucchinis and uh, spaghetti squash. I love spaghetti squash, and I discovered I loved it like last year, and I've ate tons of it since. I got some flowers. Uh, those are miracles in a little metal bucket. And uh, to hopefully bring the pollinators, the bees, that's... Uh, uh, zinnias, which are my, like, my favorite, I think, and they're so easy to grow, because I'm not, like, one of those really, you know, awesome green thumb people. I never have been. I'm still learning. Pepper is posing next to my tomato plants. I believe that's two different varieties there. I might just leave them in the bucket, so they're doing pretty well. Hey, Pepper. You soon say hi. 
well that's it that's my update for now and i just wanted to show my garden um how it's progressed i haven't had um i haven't had a video in a while on the actual garden oh yeah I'm, um these are spaghetti <laughs> i don't know what she's doing spaghetti um squash plants and they're growing so fast they were starting to like grow out and grab onto other things so my son put this little um these this wood up and uh hopefully it'll it'll be okay and and this well that's it i'm signing off now i'm almost out of time this phone is telling me for some reason that's nelly's farm and um you have a great weekend what's left of it god bless you may creator take care of and bless all of you Bye. Thanks for watching.